Hi, welcome to Road Bike Culture. I'm your host, Kevin Isley. Today, we're gonna to talk about the carbon footprint of your bicycle frame. The National Bicycle Dealers Association 2015 report states that $6.2 billion was spent in the US on new bicycles, and $1.2 billion was spent on used bicycles. Reuse is better than recycle, but let's look at the details of each frame material. We're gonna go over carbon fiber, aluminum, and steel. All of these were from a Duke study that was commissioned by Specialized Bicycle. And then we're gonna go over titanium, but Specialized didn't request titanium in this report because they don't make titanium bikes. For that, I got it from the Titanium Dioxide Manufacturers Association. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the most popular building material for bicycle frames in the United States. That is aluminum. It is recyclable, it is reusable, it lasts for a long time, and it's pretty light. It's an amazing material for a bicycle. And like we said, reuse is better than recycle. This bike has both. But let's talk about the manufacturing of aluminum for a minute. Between mining, refining, smelting, and casting of primary aluminum, that releases about 0.4 billion tons of CO2 into the atmosphere annually. And that breaks down to 170 kilograms per kilogram of bicycle. And since Specialized Commission's report, we'll look at the, the Specialized Allay, that comes in at 1.15 kilograms. Next, steel is real, the darling of the bicycle industry for generations. But now it is mostly used by custom bike builders because it's very easy for them to use, they can make it pretty light, and it's very durable, and it's not as expensive. With the same kind of mining emissions as aluminum, it comes in relatively the same, but the processing of steel is better for the climate than aluminum. The processing of steel is 1.8 tons of CO2 emissions into the air compared to aluminum at 2.2 tons of CO2 emissions into the air. Next, titanium. What dream bikes are made of? If I ever buy a custom bike, it's going to be titanium. This is the material that Specialized did not contract, so when I went to the source I mentioned in the beginning of the video, which has a name that's too long for me to read again, this is what they said. They did a cradle-to-grave study, meaning it's in the ground, and it gets built, and then it's done. The life cycle of titanium dioxide, or element 22. And in that cradle-to-grave study, they found that titanium puts about 5.3 tons of carbon dioxide annually into the air. But again, this covers the mining to the refining and the building aspect of it. And bicycles, you can't even find the number of the percentage of titanium that goes into bicycles. It is mostly dominated by the aerospace industry. And finally, we get to my favorite. I love it. It's carbon fiber. And ding, 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 we have a winner. Carbon fiber puts the least amount of CO2 into the atmosphere. But it is so water heavy that it is a massive footprint. To put all of this water into perspective, the Roubaix frame, just one frame, it takes 2,146 liters of water to make the one frame. Compared to the specialized delay, which is made of aluminum, which comes in at 1,600 liters, that is a huge difference of 500 liters per frame, which really adds up. So to put that amount into perspective, the one bike frame annually will take as much water as could give 23,000 people water for one year. So what I've learned from researching this is the heavier your bike, the cheaper your bike the bigger the carbon footprint is. And this is also true for carbon fiber and water. Because remember the LA which came in at 1,600 liters? The carbon fiber fork is cheaper carbon fiber. It is thicker and heavier. And that takes more water than the entire Roubaix frame. But if you really care about the environment and you want to have the greenest bike possible, then you want to go bamboo. And according to Calfee Design, bamboo actually has a negative carbon footprint because as bamboo is growing before it is harvested for being a, built into a bicycle, it eats up more carbon dioxide in the air than it takes to make the bicycle. That makes it carbon negative. 
and it's grown in the United States. You're not shipping materials from all over the world, and it's kind of a unique bike. So if you want to look at a bamboo bicycle to be the greenest person on your team, then look at Calfee Design. They have some beautiful bamboo bicycles. And I honestly think that's going to be the future of cycling. Well, I hope you liked this video, and until the next time, I hope to see you out there on the road.